So we're going to add in another section at the bottom, which will be the like contact us section almost in a way. You can have another section if you want with more about you information about your services, could be a pricing table, anything like that. But we're just going to jump down now to like the, the almost like the ending bit before we get to the footer. One thing I do want to do though on this page is I just want to add a slight little bit of variation to the look of it because there's a little bit too much white going on there, which is okay. I'm just going to add in a bit of a grey there. So we have our section there and then we have a bit of grey and I'm just going to modify the footer as well. So I'm going to add in a footer of about 60 there and I'm going to add in a padding of about 40. No, we're going to go for 60 as well at the top there. And I'm just going to go down to this section that we had before and get rid of the margin we had at the top. So now that section there with the bulb, well they're all bulbs, meets the section at the top with a light grey and now we have that section at the top then if I just view that that's, yeah, that's kind of looking okay I'm just gonna add a bit of padding over here as well let's go for 20 how's that looking yeah okay that'll do that'll do so just adding in a slight little bit of variation there okay so who are we and then we have this section right now let's add a section in below I'm gonna go over here and this section where I already had who are we, I'm now going to copy that to sit underneath here. And I'm going to change it to say, um, get in touch. So we've got our header. What we're now going to do is add in another section below. Okay, so I'm just going, in fact, I won't add another section below there. I will add it in using one of these boxes. So let me pick this text box up here. And let me just paste that below. There we go. And I'm going to call this one and say contact us, like so. In fact, I'm going to change it to say, okay, we'll go with that. What I'm then going to do is now add in another section directly below, but this one is going to be three columns, okay? You could do this all within one section and add in an inner section and stuff like that. Or I could even have, you know, um, this could have been its own section as well, but I'm just trying to think, keep things a little bit clean here. So we've got section with a header and some text. And then we've got like um, three columns. Now in this column here, I'm going to copy this. I'm going to paste over that and I'm going to call it contact us. Okay. And I'm just going to copy that, paste over here. And this one is going to be called visit us. Okay. It's, I'm, I'm not, you're probably thinking, oh, this is a bit rubbish. But look, just go with me in a minute. I'm going to duplicate this. And I'm now going to change the contact us to be um, an email address. So I'm going to say info at web squadron.co.uk. I'm going to copy that. Click the link button in the text editor and it will create a link mail to. What that means is anyone now clicks that is going to send them an email. Okay, cool. And I'm just going to, I'm going to modify the color though from pink because we didn't do the global fonts. I'm now also going to add in my fake number. Don't try calling that number because you're not going to get very far. In fact, we'll probably want to put plus four four like so. We so copy that. We click the link, and I'm now going to type tell like so, and I'm going to put plus four four zero seven seven nine zero one two three four five six. Please do not call that number. You will not reach me. Right. I'm now going to highlight all of this like so. Control A. And I'm now going to change the color to be a dark gray color rather than the pink. And I'm also going to change the styling. So rather than 1.4, I'm going to change it to 1.1. 1. 1. 1. 1.2, 1.1. 1. 1. Yeah, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. Right. So this section at the moment is 1,200, no gap minimum height. This section, let me just put it back to, let me make sure that is also 1,200. By the way, you could, if you want, just copy like so as well. Copy it like this and then just paste the style and it's going to paste the entire style. What it also does is paste a margin at the top. So let's just get rid of that. So get in touch. We'd love to help you and share our latest offers. We've got a section here that says contact us. I'm actually going to, I will add some breathing space there. So we're going to go with 30. The contact us is like so. I'm going to just get rid of the blank space after that text box there. I'm also going to get rid of the blank space after this text box there as well. Um, I'm going to make sure that these are all at the top. Okay, so there we go. Column position is at the top there. Okay, cool. Um, so, so we now have it like so. 
like so. And I'm just going to modify the font we have here as well. So probably for one point, we had 1.3. We'll go with 1.3 there. Copy that. And we'll paste that uh, style like so. We're going to copy this box, paste that box to be underneath this box like that. And we're then just going to add in our address. Okay. And it will be address one, uh, address two, uh, address three. You, 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 you get the idea. Okay. And then postcode. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not thinking too much about it. So I've got some details there for contact. I'm just going to shrink this column. I'm also going to shrink this column as well, just a little bit like that. So it's kind of now roughly about 25, 25, roughly 25 and about 25 there as well. So we've got quarter, quarter, and then we'll have 50% over here. In this one here, I'm going to click update for a moment. Okay, I'm going to go back to the top and I'm going to click edit header. I'm now going to pick up my social icons. So I'm going to go over to my icons like so, right click and, oh, there it is. I was over the items, right, click copy, go back over down here or even go over here to your page, edit the page. We're then gonna go down over here and we're gonna paste this like so, like that. And we're now gonna have it left aligned. So what we now have is our items like so. I'm just going to make a do a, I'm just going to edit this content. I'm going to hit return and return and then do followers like that. Okay. One of the annoying things though is, and there is a video for this that I've got um, in our channel for how do you stop Elementor from adding in this extra return, which is really, really annoying when it does that. So you can add in a bit of code, CSS code to stop that happening. You go to advanced. You go to custom CSS, you drop some code in and it will stop that. One of the other ways you can do it is literally just go to your text. That's the visual. Click into the text and you can actually get rid of it from here. But when you do that, watch what happens. Everything just goes into one line. But what you can do is you can just go like that. Break point like so. I'll do a break point again. And I'll do another break point. There's lots of people that kind of jump and go, no, don't use breakpoints. I'm okay with it. I don't mind breakpoints. So style, typography, and I'm just going to change the line height to be about 1.5. I'm going to go to my social icons and just make sure there is no padding or anything at the top or bottom. So it's further up now. And I'm just going to copy the style of that with the line spacing and just paste it over here as well. Didn't really make much difference that did, did it? No. Is that because I didn't do it right? Let's just do it again. Paste style. No, it didn't. This is, oh, it is 1.5. Yes, it is. Sorry, that's why. So let me just go into the text over here. Let me just get rid of the text like so. And now I'm going to add in a breakpoint like that. It's, that's why it's not, that's why it looked kind of odd. So let me just do that. Breakpoint, breakpoint. There we go. And then if you want to space it out a bit more accordingly, go for it. So address for uh, brick. Okay, so mess around with the styling of that. Now on the right hand side, which is there, we're going to add in a elemental form. And this is where when you install WordPress, it says, do you want the contact form? And you, some people would have gone, yeah, okay, I'll have that. But it's already in elemental. So you type in form. And we got the form and we're going to drop that in over here and instantly what you'll get is name email and message so i'm just going to go over to my name i'm going to actually duplicate the name i'm now going to click it i'm going to change it to be tell so look at all the options we got here text email radio select checkbox what that means is you can actually have like checkboxes so let me just show you let's say we had a uh, select I could have yes, no, sure, right? And look over here. We now have the options yes, no, sure as a select box. Is it required? Yes, it's required. You can't submit the form unless you hit that button. So I'm not using a select box. I just wanted to show you it to you. Tell. We'll change this to be telephone. And we will type telephone. Telephone. Right. Cool, copy, 
and we'll just paste that there. So we have the telephone. Now, what I'm going to do with the name, because that's quite wide at the moment, I'm going to change the column width for that to be 50%. And um, I could also change the telephone to be 50% as well. So now it's on one line. And sometimes that works, sometimes that doesn't work. So play around with it and go with what you like. Um, what I'm also going to do is for the message one, I could set it to be more than four lines. So I could go for six or seven. I could even decrease it to only be like two or three lines as well. But now we'll just go with four lines. And the message is not required, but the email is, the telephone is, and the name is also required. You know, you want to know who you're speaking to, right? You know, you don't want to say, hello, Mr. Anonymous. But they wouldn't be anonymous at gmail.com, would they? Or then again, I don't know. Anyway, so, so we have that there. What we then do is we go to the styling of this. In fact, go back to the content, go back to buttons, and we've got to now decide what is the message we want to say. So send, submit, um, contact us, you know, whatever you want to put on there. Um, I'm going to put it as a right aligned button. Okay. I'm then going to go to email, and this is where you would then put in the email address you want that form to go to. You know, you can actually put multiple people, by the way. So you can put comma and put another email, comma, and another email. So it goes to lots of people. The subject, so I might say homepage contact form, so I know where that message came from. This will give you all the fields they complete and their message. Now, when you get the email, you will get stuff in like the page URL, the user agent, the remote IP, the credit, which if you want all that, great. But I... I just find it's just a little bit of like, oh, I don't need all of that info. So take, keep it in, take it out. Go, go, go for what works for you. Okay, right. So now let's go to the style. This is where you can now decide on the styling. So let's do the row height. Let's just space it out a little bit more. The column gap between the name and the telephone, because they're like very close together at the moment. Uh, the label. How do you want that spaced out as well? There we go. So a bit of space, breathing space, basically. And you can also change the fonts as well. So the label, you might decide you want to go for a lighter font, maybe. Um, what's the font going to be of the field? So I'm going to say, let's go with red. So look, that shows how the content would look. But let's instead go for black so they know what they're typing, basically. Uh, the button. In fact, now go back to the field. We could do some border radius as well. So 15. So we're rounding it out now a little bit. Because if you've got square images, you're going to want your buttons everything to be square. If your images and your buttons above are rounded, you probably want to follow suit down here as well. So when we get to this button, I would say that the background color needs to be white, but the text color could be, um, I would say you might want to go for orange. And I would say that, um, da -da 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 -da. where is it? Where is it? There you go, border type solid. We're going to make that a two. And the, yeah, it's around, so it's an orange color, and we are going to make the border for that 25. So it's kind of in line with what we had above. And what you'll want to do is go to hover and then decide, right, what's the background color going to be when you hover over it? So this now goes a slightly orange, well, it goes a dark gray color, which is the opposite to what we had above, where we went transparent to orange, but that's because it was over a dark background. Whereas here, we've just gone... Similar style, but slightly different layout, but it still has the orange and it still has the dark gray background as well. Yeah, it is very subjective. Right, so now we've built this form. Okay, when we look at it, ignore the blue bars, by the way, again. Okay, that is just a very basic contact us section. You know, you got, you got some information there. I mean, you got, I mean, one thing we have got slightly wrong here is contact us and visit us isn't exactly on the right line. So let's just make fine, let's just double check that's all in line. So top, that should also be top. Um, I think it's probably because of this blue bit. So let me just get rid of that and refresh the page. So while the page is refreshing, which it did pretty quickly there, let's just scroll down. Yeah, there we go. That's now in, is that in line? I'm gonna have to use my special ruler. Yes, it is in line. I don't know why it doesn't look in line, but it is in line. Now, the thing we have got, though, is this form is starting higher up. You might want to drop the form down. In fact, I think we should drop the form down. 
uh, just so it kind of starts in line with the text here. So I'm going to go over to this column. I'm going to go to advanced and I am now going to drop this. And again, I'm using my wonderful ruler to get it to be roughly in line about there. There we go. Do you know what? I think that looks really odd, doesn't it? No, we're going to put it back. Sorry. No, 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 no. That looks way too odd. I think if you had another header there that said, like, um, complete the form or whatever, fine. But I suppose in a way, you know what you're doing here. So do you really need to have any messages there? Here's your contact form. Just complete it. Right. How does this look, though, on a mobile phone? Probably not very good. Let's go to update. Let's go to responsive mode. Let's go to three, seven, eight. And we can clearly see now it's looking a little bit all over the place. So I'm just going to reset the margins here. Contact us. Uh, left hand side, yep, yeah, fine. The visitors, I think that needs a bit of padding at the top there. So let's give it a padding of about 20. No, let's go for 40. Yeah, yeah 40 will do. We've got the address and then for the contact form, again, we're just going to give it about 40. And even though we said 50% for the name and the telephone, so they were on the same line, you can do that on the mobile, but I would say leave it as it is with a full line because otherwise you are now compacting it into a small area. And I don't think that's going to look very good at all if you did that. So there we go. And I'm just going to go back into this entire section in its entirety. And I'm going to add some padding in at the bottom, about 40. No, that was the wrong section. That was the wrong section. So which section is this? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There we go. That one. Just add about 40 there. Just a bit of breathing space at the bottom. Let us now update that. And let us see what does that do to our Google score when we added that in. I mean, again, you know, it is a very basic form. It's not doing anything magical, but sometimes you've got to think about what are you trying to get across and don't overkill it for no good reason. I mean, we could have done something else here. We could easily have gone to like this section here, gone to style. We could have um, added in another image. Let's just go for, let's go for this image here. You could have added in an image, right? Uh, center, center, no repeat. Uh, put it as a cover. So you could have added an image in there, all right? And we could have gone to background overlay, picked a white background, and we could have done something like that. If you want, if you so want, I'm just letting you know. By the way, you can color your form as well. So your form, your header, your titles, the actual white bit where you enter your values, that could have been a different color. There are things you can do, but now it starts to sometimes take away from I don't want to complicate what they're doing. I just want them to complete the form. So let me undo everything we just did there. Undo, 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 undo. There we go, right. So let's update that. Remember though, before you do your page speed insights, just purge your cache, all right? Because otherwise you don't always see what you think you want to see. So we got a score of 96. What do we get now? So we're hitting a score of 94 still, which again is really good. Um, bear in mind though that um, uh, the score will go up and down depending on the time and day. So look, this score here does bother me a bit, time to interact, which isn't completely true. It's down to the server time. But other than that, there are no real issues with the page. Again, unused Java, which is about 0 0.15 seconds. You know, nothing to worry about. But that again is just down to the auto optimize um, plugin. And you're gonna get that with all plugins anyway. So I'm really, really chuffed at the moment. So mobile score 94, desktop is 99. Um, so everything is looking good so far. So now what we're gonna do is let's now add in a footer.